Alrighty, hello Sharks, uh, Sniss here, and today we are doing a quick little overview of my gear and post and pre-battle analysis, two minute rotation of where Thunderbreaker stands now with the Destiny update. Uh, there's This is kind of impromptu, I did record the clips prior to Destiny and obviously did a battle analysis afterwards, but uh, the voiceover that I'm doing right now is going to be a bit rushed as I'm about to head to work and I want to get this rendered so I can upload it tonight. Uh, looking over my gear, most of my equips are getting to the point of being done. I did fuck up the flame on my belt trying to go for something higher than 24 and 4, but I digress. Uh, there are still a few potentials to be fixed, such as my gloves getting two line crit with one line stat. I think my pants are fucked. The sweet water items are not going to be fixed as I'm just going to wait on hard boss items and as you'll shortly see in my inventory I do have a source of suffering so I do have a chance at replacing my sweet water pendant. Other than that the gear is getting closer and closer to being done and I am with the kish nerf I'm not farming nearly as much uh, but we'll see where things go. On topic of the battle analysis there are a few discrepancies that I want to make known right now. I did have a few extra buffs, and I did pop, uh, what was it? I popped the Will skill and the Saren skill for one of the tests, but not for the other. So there are some discrepancies, and I would can't really downplay them and say they're minor, but I'm also too lazy to retest. But according to other Thunderbreakers that I have talked to in the community, it seems that like our average dummy battle analysis increase is looking to be around anywhere from 30% plus. I got close to 50% because of the discrepancies, but I have heard that 38 is not unheard of, even 40 is not unheard of. So just goes to show you how disgusting this patch was for us. Uh, I don't really know what to do goal-wise right now. The big one is trying to get Black Mage done. I've done three runs total, one pre-Destiny, two post-Destiny. The furthest I've seen is Black Mage Part 3. Didn't even get into first rank, but then again, I've only done two runs with what is essentially a new class to me. I cannot control myself nearly as well as I was able to beforehand, but at the same time, I have a lot more fluidity and flexibility with my control. It's just that I'm not used to how it controls. At the time of Predestiny, I was a 58k stat in Oz rank, 60k stat in damage rank, but I never use damage rank since I'm a two minute class. I cycle between my few Oz rings, which happen to be Weapon Jump S4 and Roar 4 for the two minute bursts. I use Roar 4 with Empress's Blessing, and I use Weapon Jump when Empress's Blessing is on cooldown. Some minor things to note that might be of interest to you is Primal Bolt is now near useless Typhoon. That skill is near useless, I should specify. Uh, Primal Bolt still has the benefit of not allowing you to lose stacks while it's active, so your IED does not fluctuate when it's active. Uh, if For those who don't know, Lightning Stacks are Thunderbreaker's quote-unquote resource, and they grant 9% IED per stack for a total of 45% IED when fully stacked. When Primal Bolt is not active, every time you use Typhoon, you consume all five st or every stack that you have available to you for in exchange for a damage buff. Or if you use Shark Torpedo, you consume two stacks uh, in order to use the skill. So that means you're losing IED every time you cast those skills. The only reason you pop Primal Bolt now is to avoid using losing stacks. Typhoon is just for the damage buff now, though. Typhoon slash Gale, whatever you want to call it, is just for the damage buff now. It is not fast enough to make up for the damage that Thunderbolt and Annihilate do together. Typhoon and Annihilate, Typhoon and Thunderbolt are not fast enough of an attack pattern to out to out DPS Thunderbolt and Annihilate. Uh, granted, that should be fixed in the Ignition patch, which is coming this winter and still has not released in... KMS, but at the time of writing this in the current KMST, it is not. It's like, it's barely better to not better at all, depending on your hyper setup, if I remember correctly, but I haven't done a ton of research into it. I just know that it's on the verge. It's like, it's on, it's on the line of being better. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, speaking of hypers, you're going to want to respect your hypers. Buffing Typhoon's extra strike hyper stat, uh, hyper stat passive is not worth it anymore. It just isn't. You want two into Thunderbolt, 20% damage, and plus one extra strikes, and then all three into Annihilate for the most damage. Also remember to swap out your Mihail link for a damage uh, link as 
Mihail is now useless. Uh, other than that, I think I've been talking for the entirety of this recording, so I will see you sharks later. Bye-bye.